Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Taurus, and this is going to be for the week of the 23rd to the 29th of July. I will be using my Affirmators Tarot deck. And to clarify, I will be using my Cosmic Tarot. So let's see what messages we have for you. So Taurus, this is for you. The Ten of Wands, you got some extra responsibility in your plate. You might need to ask for some help. The Page of Wands, you got some energy though. So you might be fine. The Queen of Swords, this might be an energy in your environment. A Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Or maybe you are contemplating and communicating to someone. The Empress, this is about abundance. Could be also fertility or the birth of a child or someone with child. The Nine of Swords. Got some negative emotions around you. What's going on? The Chariot. You're overcoming your obstacles. Don't you worry. And something is coming in pretty fast. The Eight of Cups. You feel like walking away. But right now it's just a thought. Okay. Think about it. Because balance is on its way. The Six of Pentacles. And then you have the Six of Swords. Now this could be your environment becoming calm or maybe you're moving on to calmer waters. Let's see. So we got the Ten of Wands. On top of the Ten of Wands, you have the Ten of Cups, the Strength card, and the Eight of Swords. Hey. So whatever this responsibility is, or whatever gave you the responsibility might have something might have been something you turned away from after you regained your strength. And you regain an abundance of your strength. I got the Ten of Cups. I got the Strength card. And I got the Eight of Swords. Got some negative emotions around too. Or sadness. Something might have tied you up a little bit to make you want to walk away. On top of the Page of Wands, you have the Death card. You have the Queen of Swords. And you have the Hierophant. Now, this might be an energy in your environment, and this might be someone from the past um, that's going to bring in change. And this is some kind of commit, committed um, contract binding situation. So maybe that's what you're happy about, whatever change came in after you turned away from whatever it was. You got the death card, you got the queen of swords. And you got the Hierophant. Now you got the Queen of Swords over here. Maybe you thinking, contemplating um, communication with the past. On top of the star, on top of the Queen of Swords, you got the Star card, the Wheel of Fortune, and the King of Pentacles. And I would say that's you, Taurus, the King of Pentacles, stable, having your own. You need to keep the faith because you got good luck on your side. Whatever is going on, you got some good luck. Then the Empress. On top of the Empress, you got the Emperor, the Lovers, and the Eight of Pentacles. 
you feel pretty balanced and stable. Mm -hmm. So you, there is abundance. There's abundance of love in your environment as well. There might be some money, something you're working on. You've been dreaming about it. Maybe manifesting it. Then the Nine of Swords, negative emotions, all tied up. It's because of the past. You're thinking about the past. I got the Seven of Cups. I got the Four of Wands. You're waiting. You're expecting something. You're making progress. You are patient. You're patiently waiting. You know it's going to come. Whatever it is, you know it's going to come. And you're thinking about it. The Seven of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Three of Wands. And then here's the chariot overcoming your obstacles. You got the ace of swords. Maybe you did get the communication you were waiting on. Or maybe you got mental clarity about something only you know. And then we got the ten of pentacles. This is, you know, coming into something unexpected. But some like abundance, some money maybe. It could be moving into a new home or something. Whatever is whatever this energy is bringing, it bring, seems like it's bringing pretty good things. It's going to wake up. Wake you up, make you feel kind of, you know, alive. So you got the Ace of Swords, you got the Ten of Pentacles, and you got the Page of Wands. Or maybe you're already starting to feel that way because you've been overcoming your obstacles. So then we got the Eight of Cups. On top of the Eight of Cups, we have the Empress. There is abundance. And then we got the Queen of Fire, or the Queen of Wands. And um, the Prince of Wands. Oh, this is, this is some energy here. Now the Empress again. This is abundance. This is about. And so this is. Why would you want to walk away from all of this? You don't believe it's real. You got the Empress. You got the Queen of um, Wands, and you got the Prince of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands could be about. Could be an energy in your environment. It could be a Leo. It could be a Sagittarius or Aries, and the Prince of Wands is about you know passionate energy. You know maybe. I don't know, but maybe there's still passionate energy with the thoughts that you're having with this past. Oh, if that makes any sense. If not, darling, you have found your courage, you have abundance, and you feel alive. Now, if this is a pa if this is an energy that's coming in here, this page of wands, prince of wands here, um, this energy is is a romantic. In this, not romantic as in love, okay? It's romantic as in a roll in the hay. It's just a one-time thing, maybe a two-time thing tops. But that's the kind of energy the Prince of Wands brings, okay? So, the Six of Pentacles, on top of the Six of Pentacles, you got the Six of Cups. You got the Prince of Swords. I say there's somebody from the past you've been thinking about. And you're probably making, um, you, you had communication with them or there's going to be a shift. Some kind of shift coming for you. I got six of cups, the prince of swords, and the eight of cups. <sighs> the eight of cups in this deck here makes me think that you feel lost, you know? Like you feel empty. Maybe something, maybe you need to revise your plans a little bit. You know, to get out of this feeling. Because you do have balance around you. I got the six of, six of pentacles there. And then there's the six of swords here. You're moving to calmer waters. You got the hermit. You got the nine of cups. But then there's still this five of wands energy kind of hanging around you. So the hermit, the nine of cups, and the five of wands. You got to go within. Some kind of work you need to do within, okay? This is the time that we are going within to solve problems, to answer questions, to rely on ourselves, to follow our dreams. And your wishes are going to come true, but there's a little conflict in the neighborhood there. I don't know what the conflict is about. But... Think about it. You got the Eight of Cups here. You might be thinking of walking away or you feel emotionally empty because you got the Eight of Cups over here as well. Ah. But then here comes the Ace of Pentacles. Just 
You got a new beginning. There is a new beginning coming. A financial new beginning. This could be a raise. Maybe, maybe you're going to have a struggle with that. Maybe you're going to have to learn how to balance. This is some kind of promotion. Or maybe it's a new beginning in whatever it is that you're desiring. Maybe something from the past. It could be a person or maybe some money or something. I don't know. Only you know. And you're going to have a choice. You're going to have to make a choice. You're going to choose one out of two paths. I got two of wands. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves and we will chat soon. Bye.